was another game where the offense kind of struggled to get it going. It was a little bit like the Oklahoma game where you guys were able to make a comeback in that game. And this was a game, I think, where, you know, the flow kind of went back and forth. But do you guys feel like you took something away from those harder losses earlier in the year and were able to apply it in these times of adversity when you guys weren't, um, the offense wasn't getting it done on Saturday? Yeah, um, obviously that game, the Oklahoma game and this game, like the offense didn't do as, as well as they expected, obviously. But, um, They've been doing well for us the whole season, so I think it was time for us, you know, to help them out and, and make some plays for them. So I think, you know, taking things away from the whole season, just as a defense, I think we've been wanting to play better. You know, we've played better. We've played good maybe a half, a quarter, not a whole full game. So, you know, we really had high expectations for us going into this game, and I think it showed for us playing a full game of defense right there for us. So we were happy to see that. I know we've talked about Taylor Polk and his really presence making such a difference for you, but going back to your interception, I mean, it wasn't just a great catch. You know, you clearly read that, jumped in front of the route. Going through that film study, was that something that you recognized? And do you really get a lot of confidence having that coach like Polk? Yeah, um, obviously with him, like your preparation is going to be at the highest no matter what. Like if you come around here at 6 o'clock at night, like it's going to be us and him up here in this Glacier Club or really anywhere for a walkthrough. Like you can see us somewhere, you know, doing walkthroughs. If you're around Tulane, you'll, you'll find us 6 o'clock at night doing walkthroughs with uh, Coach Taylor Polk. But yeah, um, for that for that interception specifically, it was, it's something you prepare for, but you don't know exactly when it's going to come. Um, but at that time, we knew they were going to pass the ball. And they were always... Like the quarterback, he he was a good player, but we knew he he would like to he liked to loft the ball. So when it came to something like that, it was more of just reading his eyes, seeing where the uh, the route was going to be ending up at, and just making a play on the ball. Um, it wasn't specifically knowing that that play was coming, but just knowing the concepts they had um, helped us out. There were a few explosive plays, and they got in the red zone. But they only you know scored one of those times. What was kind of you know how are you guys able to hold it down back there after kind of letting things get you know to that point? What were you guys really able to find to center yourselves? Yeah, I think it's kind of how, how we practice. Like, there's a lot of things out at practice that shows the kind of urgency and the effort that we have as a defense wanting to be great, wanting to be a championship defense. And championship defenses get scored on or get put in the red zones. And it's within with those, those opportunities, what you do, that shows a championship defense. So I think it showed for us what we're capable of, of being a championship defense when it comes down to things like that. North Texas, high-powered offense, over 41 points a game right now, averaging. How much of a challenge will this be for, for the defense? Yeah, I think, it, it like, again, um, showing how we can be as a defense, putting on a public um, aura for everybody to show that we can not only play well one game or one half or one quarter, we can be a great defense, a championship defense, and it's, it's going to show this weekend. You know, our preparation is going to be key throughout the whole week. Um, from today, tomorrow, from, you know, when you go to sleep, everything. Like, it all matters. It all goes into this win. And so, yeah, I think it's an opportunity for us to show what, what, what we're capable of as, as a defense. Six 75-plus yard touchdowns just this season. How much of an emphasis are you all putting on just containing the explosive plays? Yeah, I think for us it's, it's always about, like, he always, Coach Summer always tells us, let, limit the explosive plays. And Coach Gass emphasized that too. But, um, yeah, like, most of our explosive plays, I think, are self-inflicted. And for us, that's, that's being very detail-oriented, knowing your responsibility, not going just freelance and trying to make a play. It's, it's always being detailed, knowing that, hey, this, this gap's my gap. I can't go into a different gap. This has to be my gap, and I can't let this guy go for 60 yards when it doesn't need to. It can, it may, it can maybe go for four yards, but we can't let those big explosives beat us up like that. How much do you feel like you personally have leaped in past defense, your past coverage this year. I mean, you, you came really close to having two interceptions in that game. You had the touchdown against Oklahoma. Just how, how much more comfortable are you in that now? Yeah, I think, um, honestly, it's, it's credit to, like, my coaches and kind of the offense, too, because, like, when you have, um, I guess, like, great uh, camaraderie and great um, competition within the offense, it makes you want to get better. It makes you want to make plays because you're kind of like when you're going through, when you're going against each other all summer long. You're like, man, like, I'm really tired of hearing this guy's mouth catching passes. You know, saying he completed this ball. So I think that competition has has brought the best out of me to want to be better in the past game. But also from the pushes from my coaches, like they always tell me, like, hey, like 
you know, I don't, I don't know if you can really jump and all that. I don't know if you can really cover somebody in the pass game. So sometimes I take that, take it personal, make it try to make it a very big emphasis for me. So I think definitely I've I've improved on that this year, and I'm I'm excited to keep it going and keep uh, getting some interceptions. Definitely. I'm guessing you've never had a two interception game in your career, maybe. Yeah. How close did you come to that? And it ended up you ended up giving Adonis a free low one anyway on that play. But <laughs> yeah. So actually, so what's funny is. I had one game where, so before this season, I had never, ever made an interception, which is very unfortunate. But there was one game that I, when I was at Louisiana Tech, I think I dropped three in one game. I dropped three in one game. But, um, but yeah, I, I, the second one, I was just like, man, I, I like to be a team player. So I was going to, you know, help my team. And I will just say that's what it was. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's exciting to see a big man like that get interception. So I'm excited for him. We talked to you for a few weeks back. You said, you know, you guys had either showed it in the first half or the second half, but were really yet to put it all together. Uh, obviously, this was a game where it came down to the fourth quarter. The defense, it was a first, second half defense. What do you feel like kind of clicked? Um, I know that you guys had some dominating outings, but this one was a little more, I, I think, difficult. What do you think really came together on your side of the ball? Yeah, um, it's kind of tough to say exactly what the specific thing that we've done to make it. Like, I think it's just a buildup over time. So we have a lot of new players, a lot of young guys that have to play. And within getting them reps in the game, getting them, you know, certain reps in the run game, in the pass game, like it, it, it's starting to mesh very well, starting to understand where certain players are going to be, what you can do on this with this player, what you can't do with this player. So I think seeing that and being able to um, get repetition at it has helped us a lot. And I think it's starting to mesh very well and show um, – what everybody's capable of in certain aspects of the game. So I think that's what, what we're really honing in on and what's showing right now for us. What's interesting is it's a similar, it's the same kind of defense that you guys ran last year, but it just seems like this one, it, you guys are getting a lot more sacks, tackles for loss, and takeaways. Um, so what is it kind of about the way that Greg Gasparato goes about things that makes things so different this year? Yeah, um, so I think uh, it's, it, it starts from really the head coach always the, the emphasis and the energy that he has to be like successful and to want to be very great and good like it there's really no fall off from him to from G, to, to GAs to defensive coordinators offensive coordinators position coaches there's no like oh since the head coach you know feels that way like I don't need to feel the same energy that he has I don't need to be at a up as high energy as the head coach. Like, I can just be the defensive coordinator or I can just be the offensive coordinator. Like, everybody sees the emphasis that he wants to win and everybody as players feels that. So I think it's just wanting to be great, wanting to make plays, wanting to, to make it to the next level because when you make plays, it's going to take over uh, you being able to make it to the next level. So I think it's honestly just the energy that starts from the head coach and filters throughout the whole players and through the coaches is why or being so successful, and we want to be so so successful. Hey, kind of bouncing back to that last question, because you already touched on being a championship defense, but this team is ultimately cruised through the conference. So when you run into some adversity late like that, what did it take for this team to to bounce back in that fashion? Then what do you learn from that too? Yeah, um, I think, I, yeah, this was like kind of like an adverse situation because we knew that we should have we should win this game and that we won the game but going into it, we knew that it shouldn't have been that close and yes that was an adverse situation but obviously we lost two games that we should have that we could have won should have won and that was kind of adversity so i think this game showed you know the leadership and on offense and defense just knowing and special teams if you saw will carroll like there was a reason why that's i think it was 64 yards just flipping the field like that shows how much a big a special teams play is like Nobody really will probably see that stat sheet like everybody says, but that was the one of the biggest plays for us the whole game. So I think it showed from the the leadership and special teams, the offense being able to not turn over the ball, and then on defense getting turnovers. Like it shows the type of leadership and type of um, the type of leadership and the type of way that we are going to persevere through situations, knowing that. Yes, we were. I think we were down. It was seven nothing or three nothing, and just showing that no matter what, like we are always in the game. And so I think that was something big for us for that game. 
that. I'm looking at the recap from last year's game. Again, overcoming something late. This is not a team that y'all have a lot of history with. So what would it take to hold them back early so that you don't find yourself in that fourth quarter situation? Yeah, so uh, obviously speaking from the defense for us, it's obviously get the ball off from, limit the explosive plays, and it's always stop the run. So I think stopping the run early, being able to get them in passing downs, knowing we're getting them in passing downs, rushing the pass or getting him um, – Getting sacks early, getting him off his, you know, uh, rhythm early is going to be big for us. And then, I mean, I'll speak for the offense too. Like, just hitting explosive plays, like running the ball, like we always do. Like we always trust in those guys, knowing what they're capable of. They've shown it to us. So for offense, it's just doing what they have to do. Like we always trust them when they go out in the field. So all and special teams too. Like when we all meshing together well, like we're a really dangerous team. And that's that's I think where it's going to start showing. Like us being a dangerous team is when everything just comes together as one.